meeting up here with a blue light that's coming from nowhere. All right, listen up. I got good news, bad news, and the biggest news of human history. If any of you doubt that, just take a look at Corporal Stipe. That is not the face of someone who hasn't just stepped off the magical <laughs> fucking mystery tour. No. Uh. This gentleman is a first contact scenario. With what, sir? Intelligent life, Private. And I don't mean the sort you find every time you cross the state line. About one hour ago, an alien flying object entered Livonian airspace and came to a standstill above the old factory. There was some advance warning, but due to logistics chaos, nothing reached us in time, and what did, oh, look we at didn't the markings understand. Behind them. How Contrary is it to whatever you might have heard, there's no playbook for this sort of situation. And to make matters worse, there's been a, uh, what do you call it? A transitory high-power microwave pulse. A transitory high-power microwave pulse. <laughs> HPM, not EMP. For us, that's the same difference. Electronics are FUBAR. If it wasn't in a shipping container or a Faraday, you can bet your ass it's cooked. That goes for nods, gun lights, non-tritium optics, and most of our vehicles. Old with diesel, yes. Gasoline, no. Also, hmm. pacemakers. Hence the reason I'm talking to you now and not the colonel. Our only casualty so far, but a problematic one. He overturned on the road, blocking access to Point Hopi. The Sparkies there have functioning equipment, which is slowly coming in, but it might be some time before we can un. Fuck this mess. Sir, are aliens responsible for the HPM? Is this an invasion? That's unknown, Sergeant. Our trunk network's down. There is no way we can reach UCOM. To the world, we've just gone dark. Yet it appears it's not worldwide, not even nationwide. A forest ranger drove in from Stokovsko. His off-road's fine, and he was less than an hour away. Now, I appreciate you all want some answers. Doctor, if you would. Good evening, lads. I'm Dr. Ian Kesson, a theoretical physicist the and professor guy. at Maxwell University, Edinburgh. With me is Dr. Shimon Chapek, whose bloody t-shirt says it all. So anyway, <laughs> let me cut to the chase. Eight days ago, I was approached in a bizarre manner by the international space agency, Astra. They asked me to travel to Livonia. TS clearance, a short stay in Bosch and out. No question. I figured they wanted me to investigate your training disaster. I wasn't wrong, but... They also wanted my scientific assessment of an object spotted in a sinkhole that collapsed after the accident occurred. It was the root cap of a much larger subterranean structure. Hmm. The tip is something that has been growing for millions of years. And though it's older than mankind, Earth is not its home. I can only imagine our interplanetary guests have arrived because of that discovery. And let me add, the Livonians didn't want this going public. The toxic vapors story was just a cover. Huh. A necessary lie to ensure biosecurity. Obviously, that's no longer going to stick. Our research said that at the factory, it's been abandoned. Everybody scattered once we realized what was coming. Needless to say, we'd only a wee bit of time to prepare. None of us really expected such a... attention. Put simply, we're on the back foot. Recon's our next objective. Lieutenant Kingsley and a small team are moving towards the factory as I speak. They have a mini UGV with them, courtesy of Dr. Chopek. Luckily, okay. it was stored underground, in a testing range, which means it should still be operational. Specialist Rudwell. Sir. Try and connect using the laptop on that desk there. Uh, okay, this laptop, got it. Mini UGV. Hey, yeah. Doctor, I'm not familiar with the software. Uh, it's the Evo app. Huh, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Hold your thumbs. Our moment of truth. Yeah, excellent. We have telemetry. ED1E. So, do we call him Eddie? Fuck him. Me, not another one. Hear that, Ian? I fuck off. Let's hope we can get the video feed. I got oh, hey. visual. Get him up on the screen. Great. Hello, cutie. That's great. Oh, oh. Audio? Three clocks on. You won't have any movement yet. Systems check. Mind if we test your binding first? You're the doc, doc. Can you pan the camera? All the way to the left. All the way to the left. Got it. And same to the right. Now back to our friend in the mask. That's good. Can you give us a nod? 
Fantastic. Okay, next, manipulate their arm. Can you raise it for me? Oh gosh. E. Now, take it down again. Here. Excellent. Extend it forward. Uh. There's some weird things. Forwards. That's it. And move it back. Okay. There you go. Servers all seem fine. And how do I unlock these tracks? Ah, thanks. Just not too fast, eh? Uh, do you want to play with the laser? The laser? Name it a wee man. It's not something you play with. No, I know. <laughs> Relax. What? He's got to do a uh, dry run, though. Hasn't he? Uh, Eddie's got a duplex sensing instrument. Gets us the composition of different rocks and stuff. Go ahead and try pulsing something. Uh, it consists of a laser-induced breakdown spectrometer and a remote microimager, which is why we call it LIPS RMI. Maybe explain it again in English. Huh? Oh, it, um, excites tiny spots into ionized gas, which we can then examine with a telescope, giving us an elemental readout. Hmm. Yep, uh, l l let me check the log, see what you got there. Half oxygen, a third silicon, iron, aluminum, Aluminium! Aluminium, <laughs> calcium, sodium, uh, and magnesium. The actors, Plus, counting all these the writing three elements, is so much better than it I think used we can be. safely say it is indeed a rock. <laughs> That's really funny. Alrighty. Anyway, he's all set. Guide the robot onto the road then. Sapphire 1 1 are ready and waiting. Rendezvous and let's go from there. Yes, sir. Sapphire Actual, this is Alchemist. The mini UGV's online and coming to you. Stand by, over. Roger, standing by. You nervous, Lieutenant? Shitting nickels, Major. And uh, hot as hell in this moon suit, over. Remember, you volunteered, Kingsley. Get your game face on. Out. All right, so I'm going down the road. Task move to road. Remote surveillance, okay. Is it... It's got to be this way, right? This is northeast. Okay, can you stop zooming? I need to... Where'd it go? There's a snake. Okay, rendezvous up here. Okay. What? I see something on thermals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey guys. Sapphire, Alchemist, go time, over. Acknowledged. We're advancing. Out. Rudwell, follow. Try not to nip any heels. I'm on Dr. Kessel. Heels. Do you have any special protocols? Have your men stay on that road. We want them visible. Better to be candid about it. And I guess I can't convince you to have your team approach unarmed. Not on your life. Aye, fair enough. Then we want them calm. And, um, as the astrobiologist here, I really can't stress the threat of microbes enough. Even in that CBRN gear, there's still a big risk of cross-contamination. Probably best if they don't touch anything. Sapphire, further to my last. Do not deviate from the road. Remain in sight. Slow your roll and keep those oh, safeties on. The tree just moved. Strict fire discipline. And don't for fuck's sake touch anything. That's why you got the robot. Over. Copy that. No touchy-feely. More to follow. Wait out. That tree was definitely just like moving like crazy. Getting a bit of interference here. Could be off the AFO. I don't know. It's sporadic. Seems to be hitting us in waves. This is pretty cool. 
Where's the last guy? Oh, he's watching the rear. Got it. Dohai Zlo. My god, she's incredible. Sergeant, back this up off the VTX. And those means of propulsion? What? I, I don't see anything obvious. My point exactly. It's remarkable. Huh. It's got hot spots all over it on the thermals, which is interesting. It's, it's where the lights are. Really not much to see though. What is that out in front of us? Oh yeah, definitely some Alchemist floating logs. Sapphire. I'm not sure if you're seeing this. There's a log pile ahead. And well, I don't know how else to say this, but say one of the floating logs. You're breaking up. Words twice over. There's a log. And it is defying gravity. Over. <laughs> how about Eddie gets a closer look? He can get the laser on it, collect some data. Agreed. Minimum exposure. Lieutenant, hold your position. There is a wall. The mini UGV will assess. And it Over is defying okay, gravity. <laughs> I gotta admit, I don't know why. I think it's just like they they must have somebody that's a an actual really an actual writer. So I feel like I'm having a lot more fun just listening to them talk. It's a log, and it is defying gravity. What am I seeing over there? I'm seeing like a, oh, I'm seeing like a green mist over there. Okay, weird shit analyzed. Nice job. Hmm, well, composition's normal. It's insane that it's so localized. It's too specific, too damn random. A rock over here, a log over there. Huh. Maybe it's some kind of quantum scale residue, warping space time. All oh, right. Just toss the fucking Q word in and everything makes fucking <laughs> sense. Major Homewood, sir. You want me to continue? Keep to the road. There's an LDF checkpoint a little farther up. Let's push for that. Are, am, I, am I pushing? Okay, I'm going by myself. Okay. These objects, it's like gravity's not even affecting them. How many rules of physics are being broken here, Dr. Kesson? I've no idea. Maybe all of them. Newton's laws of motion? They're definitely out of the window. They got to be pretty smart, right? Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. You quoted that. Newton overthrew Aristotle, Einstein overthrew Newton, hmm. and now? Oh, let's avoid jumping to conclusions. Is that a floating potato? A potato flew around my room. Is that a rabbit? Rabbit, what are you doing over here? Hey, come here. You okay? <laughs> are you kidding me? This cannot... This has got to be a scripted thing. I just scanned a rabbit. Here, let's get his... Here, I can... Oh, wait, what the... Oh, here we go. <laughs> the little blood squirts. Look at the little cute all right, that's the rabbit's eye. Hey, rabbit, come here. Rabbit, hey. Hey. Rabbit. Sir, the rabbits, they don't even respond. Uh, is it closer than it was? Is it? Whoa, that looks closer than it was. Or something. That's, that's pretty spooky. TBH. Hey, I see something. It's glowing. Is that them? The light's not from us. N no power. I recommend pulling back the robot. It's an insincere representation of ourselves. They might think we've evolved into a post-biological state. Be that as it may, we're not taking any risks. Rudwell, carry on. 
Head towards it. Okay. They're making some good points. Ooh, what is that? It's a little ball. It's a... It's LeBron James basketball. It's not anything living. Perhaps not, but it's hot. Looks more like ordinary matter, only superheated. It's been shaped as well. Molded. Specialist Radwell. Eddie's got a telescopic biosampler mounted on his upper arm. It's invasive, but we'd learn a lot from a physical specimen. Okay, so I'm... Biopsy sampling. Biopsy probe. You'll have to maneuver the manipulated arm quite close. Oh. The lance has a very limited range. Do the trick? Yep. Perfect. We can process that later. Shit, oh. you hearing that? Try and get a fix on it. Something passed? It's in this next compound? It's definitely something in this next compound. Whoop! Uh... Oh, uh, what the heck? Ah, oh, fuck! Keep going! What's here? Losing visual. Whoa. God damn it! That EMI is getting stronger. What's in front of me? Oh no. Come on. Connection's out. Can you get it back? No. Unlikely, sir. The feed tanked. And without GPS, the retro traverse isn't gonna work. Eddie's stuck there. And it's not possible it's an issue on our side? Could be. Can't vouch for the integrity of this equipment, especially after those high powered microwaves. A uh, faulty anything. terminal, maybe? Sapphire, it's Alchemist. Radio check. I didn't see anything in the Copy. forest You're there. Charlie. Over. Loud and clear. Okay, wait one for tasking. Rudwell, troubleshoot. Run over to Point Hopi and bring us back another terminal. On my okay. own, sir? Yeah, on your fucking own. I'm not gonna hold your hand. Follow the chem light trail. The fog out there is getting worse. Chem light trail, okay. Wow, so I'm going by myself in the middle of the forest. Sounds great. Sounds great, Captain. Sierżancie, szalony noc, co? Tak. Wciąż czekam, że ktoś mnie uszczypnie. Nie takich zielonych ludzików się spodziewaliśmy. Żeby hmm. z innego państwa, Jumping a nie planety. Planet. Said follow the chem lights, but I have no clue. Oh, okay. Those are those chem lights? Are they? Are they sure? Those are chem lights. So after we have the hey, spooky Brother, thing. Still on this channel? Redwell. Yeah. What? That Scottish brain coat. He reckons he knows what made our drone go off schizo, day of the accident. You know anything about relativity? Not only that it's used in GPS to make calculations. Yeah, time dilation. Gravity affects time. GPS satellites in space need a tiny offset to stay in sync with places down on Earth, right? Are you saying that bomb missed because of gravity? It's just a theory. And I'm not the one saying it, am I? You want me to hand you over to the scientists? Not unless they got a cure for your stupidity, Jack. No. Oof. Ah, fuck off. I ain't the one alone, in a forest, at night, in thick-ass fog, with aliens around. So, you know, <laughs> you have fun with that. He's got a point. I don't know why they would send me out alone. They would... Uh, uh, none of those other guys were doing anything. So many soldiers all around me. Nah, don't worry about it. Just let Rudwell do the work. That's the same sound I heard earlier. Alchemist, Sapphire 1-1. One, one. Something just boom overhead. Yeah, something's Bright flying. Moving something's fast. moving. It shot straight from the AFO. Over. Copy. We hear it, but can't see it. Diamond 2-1 to Alchemist. Sighting. It's approaching point Hopi. Confirmed. 
Alpha Echo. Yeah, it sounded. Altitude 30 or 40 meters. Description, um, thing shaped. Size of a car, maybe. Over. Roger. Understood. Out to you. Specialist Rudwell. Major Homewood. Post rep. Over. Uh, somewhere between you and Point Hopi, sir. Over. You were a translator when you enlisted? Affirmative. But with all due respect, sir, if you're thinking of having me speak with them, I'm not qualified. Over. Oh Action. my gosh. Facts. You're a linguist. A communicator. Get over there and assist. Oh my gosh. Oh Out. no. Point Hopi. An alien oh. entity heading your way. ROE. Do not engage. I say again. Do not engage. Verify. Over. Uh, I verify. Alien entity. In inbound. We are weapons tight. Oh my Blue gosh. Bells. Look like they are following suit. That Alpha Echo. It just came down behind a small copse of trees. Real hard to see what it's up to. Though, it doesn't seem interested in us. Over. Break out any CBRN gear you've got. Get it on, now. Three mics. Off level four, more to follow. Out. All right, hey guys. Hey. You from Kresnik? Did Don know we only got oversuits? Really? I ain't gonna be patient zero, pal. There's, There's respirators, respirators too on the helmet racks. Better, better than, than nothing. nothing. Okay. Uh, equip CBRN gear. Ooh, this Alchemist. is cool. This is Captain Spender. Advise, what's the play here? Over. Biosec. You suited and booted? Over. <sighs> More or less. Everyone's got masks on, at least. Best we could do, given the current circumstances. Over. Did no one get too close. There's a Dr. Kesson here. He's gonna help coordinate this. A little point hoping. Can you tell me what you see there? Not a lot. A bluish pulsing glow. The Alpha Echo... Uh, Alien entity, it's on the other side of a glade, and our team have no line of sight. Over. Do you lads have any working lights handy? Affirmative. We've turned them off. Turn them back on, please. Everything you've got. Let's see if he responds. All right, lights! It would be weird. The Rangers off-road too. Switch the headlights on. Doctor, we're lit. Nothing from it yet. Over. Give it another 60 seconds and kill the lights, Captain. Holy oh, fuck. oh. <laughs> it's lifting them up. They're flashing. They're rising up and flashing. There's one red tint lamp. The others are alternating with it. Jesus suffering. Fuck. Oh my gosh. I, could be cord. I think he's trying to communicate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy for Arma. <laughs> this Dr. Is Kesson, awesome. We have a functional PA system. How about music? There's classics for the AFR. Armed Forces Radio. We could relay them pretty easy. Over. Aye, give that go. But I don't expect it'll make much sense of it. I hope I don't get copyrighted for this. Nothing. It's not reacting, over. Different evolutionary imperatives. He may lack the sensory perceptions favored by ourselves. And that's assuming he's alive. The reality is, our visitors could have cast our biological fetus aside. A very long time ago. Yeah, he's right. Now hold on a second. Specialist Rodwell. You there, lad? Yeah, affirmative. Apparently you have a Faraday cage in your end? A modified container? There should be a gadget for analyzing EM activity inside. Can you take a wee look for me? See if it's working? I got an M-Spec device. That what you mean, Doc? Over. Yeah. Search the radio spectrum for activity. Copy that. And I can point this at him? He's not gonna get pissed off? <laughs> We're only listening. I got a signal. A ping. Not so sure it's alien, though. Over. Huh. Okay. Uh... The Major wants to talk. Redwell, update. Ignore it. The Alpha echoes between you and an LDF squad. Observing opposite. Oh, uh, okay. Ping. It's just a data packet. Coming from a friendly. A quick fix. Auxiliary tracker. On account of the power out. There anything else going on? Over. No. Negative. I got zit. Roger. Conferring. Try switching antennas. There's an experimental one. In the EMP proof container. Over. EMP proof container? Major, good to go. I swapped it with... I don't know. Looks like an old TV antenna. Over. Hell, probably is. Scan for any unusual transmissions. Same as you did before. Over. Got something. And it ain't no ping. OK. 
Okay. Is it moving? I see something moving. me my vision's being weird I think Please don't make me float like the other things that are floating around here. I come in peace. Where'd you guys all go? Oh, what the heck are those things? Whoa! Oh. Why would they shoot? All call signs, hold your fire. Hope me, who's firing? God damn it. Alchemist, one of our guys engaged. And the LDF, they're still shooting. Over. Hope oh, me, shoot. Twice. Who is firing? Relay to all Livonian Defense Force call signs. Cease fire. No, Major, the Alfaco's firing back. It's fire. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the ship! Ooh! Oh! Uh, that's really fast! Uh. What the heck? Oh my gosh. You guys good? I think everybody's dead. Alchemist, multiple casualties. The alien, it's gone. Need immediate assistance. Do you copy? Nothing heard. Does anybody copy? Redwell, it's Dylan. You gotta get back to Crescent. Shit's kicking off here, man. <laughs> yeah? It's kicked off here, too, man. Get the major. Trust me on this one. RT fucking B. Okay, got it. Dude, what the heck? This is crazy. This is Arma. <laughs> Talk to me, Dill. What's going on? It's Jack. He's got explosives. All the Krovax off our demining drones. Son of a bitch. He says he's gonna blow up the camp if the LDF don't disarm. All right. We gotta calm him the fuck down. I'm halfway there. Ah, shit, man. The dog pulled his pistol on Jack. Baker and Lane are arguing with the Bluebells about, about whether ET's hostile. Hostile? Defensive, not hostile. Mm -hmm. We fired first. Don't let anyone there do anything stupid. Dylan. Oh, saving game. Okay. Dylan. Situation. Oh, Situation. Man. Everybody's shooting one another. LDF hightails. Fuck, fuck. They're going to be coming right at you. Shoot. What? Keep a low profile. They're running for it. 
Did we just go to war with Labonia? No! Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, some of us did. Oh man, this fog. How am I supposed to get there? It is extremely foggy. thick at lower elevations. It's nuts. Totally out of stamina. Why am I so heavy? So I'm wearing this backpack suit thing. I don't think I can take it off though. Here, can I, can I take it off? Oh, that would have been nice. I think that backpack would slow me down a lot. Alright, can I get a gun? Is there any guns? Nice. need something. I can't. Oh, it won't let me grab the mags. Let me grab the gun, though. They were gonna call a damn artillery strike on it, Rudd. Someone had to do something. Yeah? Like what? This? This? You fucked us, Jack! No, no. We fucked ourselves. You'd rather I let the LDF spark an intergalactic war? I did what I yeah. did. You don't have to be happy about it. And the Dawn? Uh, yeah, he took a shot at me, and I don't know. I, I don't know. It didn't end well. He's all over the fucking place if you catch my drift. Bad <laughs> juju. Look, come on, we gotta move. Now. Before this fog lifts. All right, Jack, so this is the least discreet place to set up camp. You got any more bright ideas? Yeah, you know what, Rudd? I just might. Oh, hold on. You giving a briefing? That what this is? Nope. I'm putting Kesson in charge. What? Huh. <laughs> That's the smartest thing I've heard you say all night. I'm no in charge, lads. Okay, look. I got some shit to say. The Livonian Defense Force are gonna be hunting for us. Obviously. They believe we just went renegade. And there's a good chance Uncle Sam believes that too. Yeah, no, I know, we did go renegade, but what's happening here? It ain't about the color of a flag. The aliens aren't attacking, right? And if we piss them off, it may all end really bad for us. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Somehow, these fellas have survived themselves. That suggests intelligence, cooperation. It's possible they're acting in our best interests. Exactly. And the first thing we gotta do is figure out what's going on and what they want. Rudd, you reckon they were trying to commune with you? Mm, no. All I said was I saw something and felt, I don't know, off. You had a vision? Like the worst case of deja vu you can imagine. Great. Then you're our middleman. As for Kingsley and the rest of Sapphire, they're in the field. Dodging LDF patrols and looking for a way to re-establish comms. I said we'd assist by getting intel. Now, Private Lane here has already climbed the tower and had a look-see. One of them boomers was doing something in the valley northeast of our position. And you want me to go see what the deal is? Actually, I was gonna ask Baker, but sure, if you're <laughs> so keen. There's a hemet to the southeast too. Could be worth the pass. We're low on gear. Okay. Steal stuff? Get abducted? <laughs> Am I missing something? Signals. You got two antennas. Keep an eye out for activity. Got it. Catch on the flip side. Alrighty.
Okay, so first objective, we're gonna head to... Jack, listen up. I see a signal notification on that Omni antenna you gave me. You got any idea what that's about? Over. Oh, yeah. You're getting alerts on EM activity. Check the spectrum device. All right, copy. Thanks for the extra info. Out. out here and go on foot. Uh, I'm gonna switch to the human one. Activity detected. At unidentified frequency. Oh, there's something back there. Excellent catch, Alpha. Sounds like you caught some of our cowboys from Kresnik. Zip tie them and keep them guarded. We'll send a transport and bring them in out. Okay. So that... I don't know if we marked it. I don't know if we were there long enough to mark that frequency or where it came from. One sec. Nothing. Let me try. Alien one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So there's aliens. Oh, at the alien root? That's pointing straight towards the alien root. Okay, yeah. That's understandable. I mean, it is an alien root, after all. We'll check out what this question mark is, though. I really want to do all the side things, too. This is so cool, man. I'm really enjoying this. It's such a crazy turn, but it's so much fun. Oh, there's some civilians down here? Or... Hello? Here, I can talk in direct chat to them. Hello? <laughs> Do I need to take these guys out? Are they friendlies? I'm guessing not. Here, I'm just gonna click the save button really quick, and then... Were they friendly? I don't think so. He's got a helmet, though. I don't need a helmet. I'm cooler than that. Oh, wait, what did I just, uh... Hold space to view. Point of interest added up to the north. Okay. Let's locate that alien route first, and then we'll go to that uh, northern location. What's all in these? Grenades, rockets. I'm just going to keep the shotgun. The shotgun seems kind of fun and special. What rifles did these guys have? Sawed off? <laughs> we'll take your shotgun shells. Oh, these sounds are spooky. This guy had a PDW. Okay. So we secured the Hemet. Uh, let's get back up to our truck, I guess. Oh, investigate point of interest is down at that intersection as well. Really? Didn't we go there? Where were we in comparison to that? I feel like we were right there. There's definitely huge boom sounds over near that alien frequency over to our uh, north right now. I don't know what that is. No, it was this intersection. You know what? Let's go check that out, too, just in case. Mark it in the 
trees here. It's a lot of weird pulsing sounds. Yeah, there's an alien force this way too, off to our west. They're everywhere. All right, let me check if there's any LDF. No sign of them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I had a bump somewhere. It was two totally random bumps. I don't know where I saw it. Oh, 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 yep. There again. Oh, shoot. Shoot, my truck. Activity detected at 406 megahertz. Okay. Shoot. What's here? There's a bunker. running. Where are you going, buddy? I could raid them. They've probably got some supplies in here or something. They've got like four guards. Let's see if we can get them distracted. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Back up in the bunker, back up in the bunker, yep. Let's see how good this shotgun can do at range. He definitely felt it. I'm gonna treat myself really quick. Dang it, I was gonna see if I could try to send them off somewhere, but I couldn't tell. I should have said something on their frequency. Come on, push me, guys. Holy crap. How close is that really close one? He's like right here, isn't he? Where'd you go? Yikes. I'm gonna toss a grenade at that one down there. Sorry, buddy. The grenade went way too far. Yikes. This is gonna be difficult. I think uh, possibly like a smoke grenade rush if we've got them. Yeah, we got one smoke grenade. Let's do it. <laughs> oh no, I hit the tree. Oh man, this is bad. Let's just push it. They can't see us if we run fast enough. Where's that one? Oh. Oh. Okay. Are we clear? Oh, hey guys. Hey, you guys want to get out of here? Damn right, buddy. Cut us loose, we'll bolt. I know a place where we can all lay low. Uh, no, Man, Hugo. We owe you I got a fuck ton of mad shit that I got to do tonight. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Hey, you're a fucking legend. <laughs> sure, stay off the roads and don't go back to Crestnik. There's no one there. We're staying on the move. Alrighty. Oh shoot! Yeah, let's get out of here. 
Let's just go. Let's go, 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 go. Car, go, go, go. Forwards. Woo-wee. Don't you dare run in front of me. Don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> we got out of that place pretty quick. All right. Locate alien root. Got it. Whoa, whoa. These off-roads can go really fast. And this frame rate is very low. 21 FPS right now, boys. What is wrong? I might just save here and restart my game really quick just to see if that will fix this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to save and then restart. See if we can get more than 21 FPS. Because right now we're getting exactly 24 FPS. 25. So let's restart. Oh, saving game. Okay. All right. So let's see what my FPS is now. Well, first off, the grass is gone, which is odd. I want the grass to be back. Like, you can games cut. Why are the settings? What? What did my settings go up to? Where? Arma, what are you doing? What are you doing, Arma? Come on. We're wanting to just play the game. That shadow is very high. All this stuff is normal. Yep, yep. All right, let's see. 33 FPS. That's better than 21, I guess. But I had to restart my game to just get 30 FPS. I don't know. Hopefully, this DLC is working good for other people on lower end PCs. It's me. I'm getting closer. Over. Okay, listen. Those LDF fuckers had a lot of drones up there. Faraday cages to store them in. Meaning there's a good chance their autonomous weapon systems are set up already. But that funky fresh device of yours, it might ah. help even the odds. If you can't find a way in, try and make one. Over. Yeah, solid copy. The shit I do for robots, huh? Out. Okay, uh... Spectrum device with military antenna to deceive them. Cause all I need to do is just uh, do the noise. Gotta sneak into this base, grab the, grab an eddy or a terminal or something, something like that, and get out of here. But I think there's gonna be a lot of bad guys in this base. We're gonna have to use some creative measures here. Luckily, they're all wearing bright blue, so that's good. Oh, don't want to shoot the rocket. Nope, don't want to shoot my rocket launcher. to Black Fox. So Echo Science Equipment. Okay. So there's an Echo here. Is that Echo? Where is it exactly? Oh, we don't know where it is. It's just inside of there somewhere. Okay. Really gotta lower my view distance, man. It's just the frame rate is just so bad. Okay. 
So what options do we have right now? in that main building most likely. Just got to wait for this guard to walk by and then go go to that building. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is spooky, man. Turn around. Just turn around, please. Turn around. Turn around. Just, just do it. Just do it, man, I promise. Everything will be fine if you just turn around. Oh my gosh. Now he's not going to turn around, is he? There we go. Okay. See if we can pick up anything on radio while we're sitting down here. Ruch przy wewnętrznej bramie. Jeśli zaś chodzi o ekwipunek, roboty, są wanie astry. Postawiliśmy je, jako że wyglądają na nieuszkodzone przez impuls. Odbiór. They're in the Astra van. W porządku przyjąłem. Zbuntowani Amerykanie ostrzelali obóz w Kresnika. A także mamy informacje na temat czarnych śmigłowców. We have on black helicopters crossing the border. Idźcie na baczności, bądźcie gotowi na wszystko. Odbiór. Huh. Our ghost talks are... I think they're black. So we could be getting reinforcements. Well, that could be a third faction. Okay, so he said that they're in the Astra. Which is a van of some type. That can't be the van right there, can it? It couldn't be. It's gotta be like a van van, not a truck. Astro van. Something's driving up. That sounds like a truck though. Not a van. Are you kidding me? Did he just detect me? He said contact south. Oh, I'm south. I'm just gonna hope that he that, that AI doesn't actually detect me, that he just heard me or something. That's really dumb that he was able to hear me from that distance though. Oh look, Arma 2 barracks. The Arma 2 assets, man. They just fit right Oh, alright. Oh, saving game, something's about to happen. Okay, a white van. Okay, hopefully he doesn't pop at me right now. I rescued Eddie. You ninja badass, you. Okay, great job. Now ask Bill and head back to the roof. Over. Yeah, I'm Oscar Mike. Out. All right, Eddie, you are very, very fat. I got to admit. You want me to crawl under this, this piece of wall with you on my back? Okay, the guy just said contact behind me. I heard that. Maybe he just likes the new Armor 3 DLC that happens to be called Contact. I don't know. Either way, we're getting back to our truck and getting out of here. It's a very dangerous place to be.